I think the biggest takeaway from the film after you know a couple of days of reflection, um, you know, our guys battled. Um, so did they. It was a it was a great football game. I'm sure just to be a part of and be a fan of. Um, you know, I definitely think we we started off kind of slow and sloppy. Um, you know, let them drive down the field on the first drive and um, kind of stalemated. You know, that, the rest of that first quarter. You know, I thought uh, we battled back well. It was great to get some points right before half, knowing that we were going to get the ball after halftime. Um, so that field goal was huge to kind of cut cut the deficit to a touchdown. Um, you know, in the second half, we did a much better job uh, defensively against the run game. Um, we still just left too many opportunities on third down. I think you know we did a good job of holding them to field goals, but in those drives where we were holding the field goals, you know, they had some third down conversions prior to that. You know, it, it, at midfield or when they were backed up that, that could have forced them to punt and kept points off the board altogether. So that was really the big difference, uh, you know, in the second half of the game. You know, we were able to really sustain drives well. Um, I thought they did a good job of uh, limiting our run game for the most part. Um, you know, we weren't as consistent with that as we'd like to be, uh, but we were able to throw the football well. Um, and, you know, there's a couple times where we get down in the red zone where we've got to come away with six and not three. Um, that was really the difference in the game. Obviously, the, the fake punt was huge, uh, and the lack of discipline on our part, um, and that allowed them to sustain that, that final drive and, and you know, execute on a game-winning field goal. So uh, proud of our guys for the way they battled um, and fought back. Obviously, it was a game that we felt like you know, we, we could have and should have won when you look back at the film and the opportunities that we kind of squandered. So uh, some good lessons learned, some good things to build off of, and excited to move forward to the next week. I, I really liked the way our quarterback executed. I thought Anton played very well. Um, you know, the interception, you know, we ran the wrong route. Uh, you know, it was just a, a mental breakdown on our part, so that's not really on him. Um, you know, he's got to protect the ball better when he steps up in the pocket on the fumble that they forced. Um, but overall, you know, I thought our pass game did a great job of, of keeping us in the game because our run game was fairly inconsistent. So um, it was good to see those guys execute. It was good to see Connor make you know, two huge catches for us. Uh, Gene Rivera had a couple big catches for us, and Andrew Jamil just continues to be one of, if not the best receiver in our league. So, um, you know, he had an amazing game for us as well. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, with Andrew, uh, and it's really been our philosophy, and you could tell it was our philosophy in the game. Um, you know, when the game's on the line, you want the ball in your best player's hands. Um, and I thought, you know, offensively, we did a great job of scheming that up and, and allowing him to execute, and he did, he did the rest for us. You know, we put the ball in our best player's hands. Uh, and he made some big things happen for us, um, you know, through his first career touchdown pass. And obviously the two-point play was huge to tie the game up at the time. Um, and I think if you just look at his just full body of work, you know, he's somebody that we really, you know, rely on and lean on to, to keep us, you know, going positively on offense. And, and he did a huge, a huge, had a huge role in that in the, in the second half of that game. So we haven't run a two-point play all year. Um, We've been practicing that play for six weeks, so it was good to, to be able to get it called and execute it. Um, you know, you always have a couple of them dialed up that you like uh, looks-wise based off some of the teams that you're playing. So, you know, I know offensively we've been practicing that play for, for a little while now, and then obviously in a meaningful part of a football game to be able to call it and execute it was huge. Um, obviously he's got the option to pull it and run, which is what he did. Um, we've got a, you know, a couple different pass options off of it, um, and really it's just on him to – to make the read and, and react. I thought, you know, if you look back on the film, I mean, they've got it all covered up. They've got a guy for Andrew. Uh, they've got a guy, you know, both our pass options and, you know, are covered up. So um, he just made two guys miss and extended the ball for the goal line. So, um, you know, as much as you want to scheme up plays, it, it's about the guys executing. And Andrew just, you know, did the rest for us. Yeah, it's going to be a great atmosphere on Saturday. It's, it's homecoming weekend for them. Um, you know, they're coming off a hard-fought win versus AIC. Um, you know, they went to overtime against the Bentley team that we just played. Um, they've got two of the best tailbacks, you know, in the league, and, and uh, they find different ways to get them the football. Um, you know, obviously they're a very experienced team. They've uh, had a lot of recent success. So they're, they're riding the momentum, and they're, they're confident in who they are and what they can do. So it's going to be a, a great test for us to, to prepare, um, to, to bring it on the road, and to execute uh, in a big game in a great atmosphere against a good conference opponent.